Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to be taking a look at those of you who are males who have significant placements of Virgo anywhere in your birth chart. So before we get into your messages, I do want to invite you all to book a personal session with me um, through my website www.divinelotustarot.com. You are able to find the link at your convenience, okay, or for your convenience below this video. Also, um, my website's has the services listed in the pricing as well okay if you are interested in seeing that um just so it's up front out there um prior to you booking with me and then for those of you who would like to follow me on my social media service uh, my social media accounts you can find that information below this video in the description box okay so we're going to go ahead and get into some messages for you Virgos. Um, like I said, it's messages for the males um, that I was led to do. And you may have significant placements of Virgo anywhere in your birth chart. Um, I do just want to say I think it's very quite interesting that you all are either pulling on my energy and that this request was done to give you another reading. Because I felt like um, the last reading I did for you all was just so like beautiful. So I just think it's interesting that the request for your energy to have another reading is kind of interesting <laughs> but yeah let's go ahead and get into it okay so we have the ooh, okay we have the world card here okay which is talking about a wrap-up and a completion of cycles um that some of you may be experiencing or dealing with so this energy is letting us know that you are closing out and learning certain like karmic lessons closing out karmic chapters in your life which is a beautiful thing um this definitely aligns along with the energy that we are in currently because we're in january right now january is associated with well the first part of january is associated with well m the majority of january i would say but but i, I want to say until january 20th or the 21st but that is the season of Capricorn um, but nonetheless it's associated with Saturn energy so I definitely feel like the, you know some of you are wrapping up some type of Saturn lessons um, that you have been dealing with and if you're not familiar with the energy of Saturn that planet i feel like it would be in your best interest to go ahead and look it up i don't want to really spend too much time diving deep into that for you all because i'm also getting the energy here as well too um where you needing to use your time wisely to explore new possibilities so i feel like for some of you who have been watching my videos um you're needing to take time um, especially the time that you have right now some of you may be in like isolation periods right now and you kind of just feel like things are not moving for you or moving in the manner that you need them to move but i feel like you're supposed to be in silence right now you're supposed to be doing a lot of introspection and um, self-reflection and, and deep diving right now and the reason why i'm not going to go too much in depth with the energy of saturn here for you because i feel like you're meant to go do that type of research yourself that's part of your self exploration. I feel for some of you, you may have an interest in astrology, or it may be in your best interest for you to start looking into your birth chart and your astrology chart to use it um, to your advantage, but also just for like a, a sense of a measure tool that you could use for self help, self growth, and self development. Um, it's best to look into your birth chart to see, you know what you may be able to learn it may be a resource or a tool that maybe some of you are not utilizing that you may need to start tapping into that's going to provide you with some like very helpful information okay um yeah i just want to say that astrology is very helpful um i look at it like a science okay that's me personally um but i i know that people have different feelings around like astrology and they they kind of just think of it like horoscopes or you know just think of it as like maybe kind of insignificant but i feel like when you actually really start to like research and look into astrology um i feel like you you everyone could benefit to find something of a resource for themselves is what i'm saying like you don't have to take the whole thing or every aspect of it or become a you know 
uh, an astrologist, but I do feel to some extent that it is in your best interest to get familiar with your birth chart and, you know, how certain things in your birth chart may be um, helpful for you to know that helps you find some type of sense of, um, like, comfort or just understanding within yourself okay and i feel like now is a good time for some of you to start doing more research within into yourself regardless if you use astrology or not that's just one method that i'm promoting and advocating because i've seen um positive direct correlations between not only myself but other individuals that um i just notice or that i work with okay when when you utilize that resource but there's several other things that you could be doing or tools and whatnot to um, just essentially help you with becoming the best version of you but I feel like you just need to really just do your research and take time to get clear on setting that intention that that's what you want to do to become the best version of yourself and then I feel like you know the universe has a beautiful way of like starting to show you things once you open yourself up to allowing that to happen and it may come in ways that you expect and it may come in ways that you don't even expect so there's a sense of you needing to just get quiet get still and take time to yourself um, or just appreciate the time that you are having in isolation or solitude right now to really um, just go in inward okay I also have the energy of synchronicity going on so um, we have the synchronicity card coming up and it says your prayers and your questions are being answered by synchronistic events notice them in order to increase the flow so I feel like for a lot of you you will be probably experiencing a lot of like type of um, events going on in your life for the things that you have been initially praying for so just notice them um, ex you know and I feel like um, even the slightest things you know once you start noticing them I feel like you'll see more and then that'll help continue to give you like confirmation of what you're asking for what you're praying for um, is working I feel like even you know just just being mindful that that's also what the world card talks about as well too that you know you could start to see a whole lot more um, synchronistic events actually playing out that is just giving you the confirmation that whatever that you have put out there in prayer okay um, that it is working it is unfolding okay so I am being advised to let you know that you do just need to maintain a strong sense of having faith right now and not feel like a failure because you kind of just have to give it time to um, whatever seeds that you've planted through prayer or just intentions and whatnot, you kind of got to give it time for it to develop. And especially with the, you know, us just stepping into the new year being in January, it's a good time right now as well too to just get into the habit of starting to plant some seeds and just setting like goals that you want to accomplish um this month goals that you want to accomplish in the next few months goals that you would like to accomplish before 2022 is over okay so i just feel like that would be a nice um activity that you could engage yourself in while you're having this time that you may be feeling like you're isolated or in solitude you could be using this energy to be maybe a little bit more conducive for you okay and 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 allowing yourself to use it um, maybe some of you kind of feel antsy or you feel like a failure when you don't have a lot to keep you busy um but i feel like for some of you it's okay to just be able to um just take a moment to yourself and just breathe and just relax okay then that way as well too when you're not always busy and clouded and running around that way you you actually can have answers come to you so you so you can get confirmation validation or just resolution to anything that you need that's also the energy of why this um 
period of solitude or silence is needed for you to just kind of sit in because maybe for some of you you're feeling like you're putting prayers and intentions out there but you're not seeing the the results and then it's almost like okay well because you may have been doing so many things before now the universe wants you to be in a position where you can actually clearly see it so now you don't have anything obstructing your view you don't have any type of distraction so once you get the once you get the synchronicities coming through and start to see the events play out it's like okay now you can see it now you know how to recognize it okay so i don't feel like you're being punished by just um having to wait i just kind of feel like it's allowing you if you look at it as an opportunity of bringing you the ability to be allowed to see you know the things unfold before you i feel like the universe wants to wow you the universe wants you to be um to just to see the the miracles that could happen okay and that are unfolding for you so if you kind of look at it from that perspective that might kind of help just to give a, a different perspective and it's probably something that i could probably just utilize for myself as well too because you know i definitely like to see instant <laughs> results of things that i have prayed for and sometimes that's not always the case because there actually is like a, a, you know spiritual order that things has to go through it's still spiritual parameters that things have to go through um when you put your intentions out okay okay so i was feeling like y'all are wanting to hear about love and the interesting thing is as soon as i got that inclination the nine of pentacles came out which is the card of like single energy so just let's take a look at that Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles is like usually a, um, when it comes to a relationship wise, it can refer to just being single. So for some of you, you may be in an energy of being single right now. That may be your current status. Um, some of you could just be enjoying the fruits of your labor. And that's a beautiful energy as well too. And some of you could just be in a position where you're like, okay, you've, you're financially stable you're financially secure you could be financially enjoying the pleasures of life right now but maybe some of you are desiring to have a significant other that you can maybe share this with okay and that's interesting so for those of you in that energy i do feel like um you are moving out of an old energy um and i feel like if a lot as long as you set the intention that you want new love to come in then this is your confirmation that um you're moving out of an old energy and new love is coming in so i feel like maybe for some of you you may have been just kind of going through like a cleansing period whether you saw it as that or not but however long that you've been in a single energy until you actually set the intention that you wanted to be in a relationship um i feel like you've been getting cleansed and cleared of I keep hearing reprieve okay so there's an energy of reprieve um that some of you have been going through but i feel like you've been going through a cleansing and a clearing so that this so that new love can come into your life so i feel like don't don't be distraught okay of the fact that however long you've been single i feel like for as well too some of you are needing to be realistic with this nine of pentacles being here in regards to like when you actually genuinely set the intention to want to be in a relationship because if you're saying you want to be in a relationship but then your actions and your energies are like kind of counter acting that like you got to be realistic with like yourself so i feel like for some of you you've already set the intention you're being cleansed and clear the universe is working with you to help bring this into you for others of you i do feel like some of you are being counterproductive to what you actually want while you're single and you're saying that you want love but your actions and your habits are like counterproductive to that so it's almost like you're needing to let go of old and worn out and outdated like beliefs that is continuing to keep you stuck and be in this single energy because the universe energy is here that wants to help you but the universe can't help you when you keep saying you want love but then you keep doing stuff that to counteract that like that doesn't make sense so you're confusing the universe you're confusing yourself it's like you need to get clear with what you want and stay with that attitude and that energy it's like keep that same energy basically that's what i'm getting keep that same energy if you want love then keep that same energy like you need to 
exude that and embody that like don't be saying but when you're by yourself that you want love but then you get around your friends okay and now all of a sudden your whole energy and your attitude changes but then when you're back by yourself again you're wondering why you ain't got nobody to cuddle up with that night like you're being counterproductive to what you're saying when you're by yourself versus when you were around other people so you need to keep that same energy and that's just an example so whatever it is that you're doing that you're being counterproductive when you're while you're intention is maybe that you want love and then you're doing other things to show otherwise okay so i feel like you really just need to fully embody and accept that energy as well too and i feel like just get in alignment and agreement that you're ready to let go of old and outdated worn out things that no longer serve you this could be even for some of you as well too like i'm seeing the energy of someone keep looking back in the past so like if you're continuing to either still cling to exes who could have karmic energy attached to them in the sense that like you know you already went through those lessons because we already had the world card out here like if you know you've already went through those lessons with those perfect person those people why are you continuing to backpedal and go back to those relationships or try to you know figure out what's going on with that person um trying to stay connected to energy where it's like it doesn't serve you you get what i'm saying um or you already know the results of that it's, it's almost like some of you may be trying to go backwards okay this also could be some of you being enticed to you know come back to exes so this even could be other exes for some of you reaching out to you trying to entice you and it's like okay if you're saying you want new love but you keep i'm hearing shacking up so maybe some of you live with an ex still but you want new love and I'm not sure how you expect that to work. Like, where would you take your new love to if you are shacking up with an ex? That doesn't make sense. I'm going to need y'all to get real clear about what you want and be realistic, okay? There's a, there's, there's a, a need to be realistic about your intentions because some of you are intentionally still thinking about an ex and trying to trying to go back to old things and and some of you are still entertaining and having sex with your ex or exes and this is because you're setting that intention others of you you do have exes who are trying to still cling to you to keep you from closing out this cycle with them because they know that this cycle is wrapped up essentially and then i i feel there's an energy of some of you who are living with an ex you're you're living with an ex but you want new love whether you're sleeping with this person or not, I'm just not quite sure why it would make you feel any type of way when, why would you want to bring someone into a situation where you are living with someone who you're not even with? You have not fully closed that lesson out. So it's almost like you need to get your affairs in order. Not to say that you can't still desire or want new love. I think you still should have that intention set. But I also don't feel like you should be... Um, thinking like that the universe is going to tell allow someone new to come into your life while you you still got someone who you're living with let's look into that energy because that is pretty interesting that that came up okay let's let's look into that okay um hello so some of you are definitely still playing house with this individual okay so for some of you, what I'm picking up the energy is blatantly, you could be having sex with this person. So you're playing house like you're with this person. For some of you, this could be someone who you have children with, or maybe this is like an ex-spouse that some of you are still living with. Um, and you're very much like still keeping everything aligned with the sense and the energy as if you are with this person still so it's interesting that you're seeking to move on from this person and you want new love to come in and you're asking about love but yet you are still carrying on as if you're with you're with this person like there's nothing about your energy that is calling in new love while you're still holding the energy of keeping up the activities each and every day like day in and day out of 
like what has changed I, I i i guess that's just what i'm confused about what has changed what action have you taken what has changed that is making you think that the universe is about to allow you to bring someone new into your life and you are clearly playing house still with an ex like you're living in a house with someone you're sleeping with this person like you're still maintaining the affairs and orders as if you're with this person now it's one thing if you are in a transitional period which very well could be the case for some of you because we do have the time to move on case or the time to move on card here so it's one thing if you're in a transitional period and you know just due to you know there, there there's leases and mortgages and bills and like okay contracts and a, you know agreements and things of that nature that I, I i get right that need to be properly handled and loose ends tied up however loose ends being tied up does not still equate to someone playing house sleeping with someone still and still carrying on as in the sense that you're with this person if this person is in fact your ex okay like we're just gonna keep it real over here that doesn't make sense because I'm, I'm seeing the card that you're stressed. You're stressed. You're all up in your head about this. And it doesn't make sense. Like, I'm going to need you to be real with yourself. That does not make sense. Like, the universe is not a fool. And you are not about to sit here and think that you're about to, like, <laughs> bring someone up into this right here. Um, now, if, in fact, you truly this truly is your ex, well, you're not given a clear indicator to the universe that you are actually ready to have new love come in so once you get clear that you don't want to be with this ex then you might want to stop sleeping with this ex and you might want to really get your affairs in order so that you're not living with this ex because I, I clearly just don't understand where do you think that you're about to be bringing a new love when you still got a whole household of energy showing that you are still with someone like you're still carrying on with someone as if you're with this person like where do they do that at like i'm just being so honest like where where in your mind do you think that that would be okay to think that the universe is about to allow that that doesn't make sense now for others of you it could be the sense that maybe you still very much are in a relationship you this is not your ex okay you're in a relationship with someone you maybe you just want to move on okay or you've tried to move on and you you haven't i mean either way you haven't you're still with the, you're very much with this person still okay nonetheless i'm not here to chastise you all i just want you to all just be realistic about the energy that you're putting out if you want new love then you need to be very clear and take the necessary parameters measures and actions that you're being led to do because it seems to me that you keep getting signs from the universe about things aligned with whatever you are praying for maybe some of you are praying that you want to have new love maybe some of you are praying that you want to come out of the relationship that you're in however your actions are not aligned with what you're praying for so that's going to be counterproductive and you're only slowing down whatever you're praying for or whatever intentions that you're setting from coming into your life so i'm just here to confirm yes your intentions are out there however the universe is not about to bring someone into your life if you have an ex that you're still messing around with you're still playing house with and you're still shacking up with this person or if you are still very much in a marriage or in some type of long-term relationship with someone who you could have kids with or someone who you got some type of inner workings or business or deals with that you don't seem to be at the point in time making any necessary um, moves or strides to in this okay and, and for others of you maybe you have ended things with this person but there's still the energy that every like it's not known so you're so regardless if you have ended this well it's not known so it, it feels like you're still very much portraying that you are in a relationship with this person so either way whatever you're doing where it's just not very clear cut straight to the point that you are single okay the universe is not allowing anyone to come into your life with that so 
that seems to be maybe a challenge for you but that's going to be something that you need to face and deal with is what i'm seeing um yeah it feels like as well too maybe some of you may have your eyes specifically on someone that um you're being guided towards because it feels like this person could be like some type of um significant soulmate for you as well so i do see that could be you know you you got a lot on your plate you got a lot that um you're needing to consider or that's stressing you out but i do see like you haven't you haven't fully taken a hundred percent like ownership of your situation to the point where the universe can fully be allowed to assist you in the manner the card that we have on the bottom of the deck for you all right beneath the soulmate card which potentially is the person that some of you are wanting to move towards is accept heaven's help you've prayed for help so get out the way and let heaven help you some of you are not allowing heaven to help you because you have not fully closed out this situation and made it complete like it needs to be absolute that you are single like there is no in between there's no gray area in regards to this matter is what i'm seeing i mean I don't know what you've done in your past or how that's worked out for you in your past, but this is a Saturn lesson that you're needing to learn. So if you were the type of person to like keep things kind of murky or someone where you like to blur lines and keep attachments to like people from your past while you're trying to move to the future, well, that's not working in this case. Whoever you're moving towards, that's not going to work. That's not going to fly. The universe ain't going to let that happen. So with that being known um you it has to be absolute like that you are not in a relationship you have to be absolute that you want to be in a relationship first and foremost if that's what you're asking for and you have to a hundred percent be ready to commit and move forward because once you do that then the universe is going to step in and it's going to make things move a whole lot smoother easily and quickly than what you're with you're thinking um but i feel like you could be kind of getting in your own way in this situation you 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 seem to be feeling or thinking that you're trapped in the situation but you're you're not it's essentially just a matter of you saying you want what you you want to move towards new love and taking the steps to do that and some of you already know what the steps are to do it it's, it's kind of like you're, you're trying to hold on it, it feels like you're you're putting yourself in some type of limbo energy it really feels like it's like self-induced like and for those of you where it's not with well, whatever measures that you're taking like just know this is confirmation that you you are moving in the right direction but this message is more so for those of you where you have not taken the necessary measures to to fully make it clear to the universe that you know you're on board with this because i feel like the universe energy is here saying like yeah we're here we're ready to help you we're ready to step in but we need you on board with us like you get what i'm saying like we need you on board with us i just see this image in my head of someone who has called like It's almost like someone who's called, let, let's just say like some type of transportation service. There's plenty out there, right? I don't need to <laughs> name any particular service. But let's say you've called some type of transportation transportation service to come to pick you up from your home. And the transportation service is sitting out there waiting for you. They only have a limited time that they're going to sit out there and wait for you. Okay? Um, because the intention has been set that you obviously want to be transported somewhere but you're steadily looking back at the door like do i go back in to the home and go back and sit down or do i get into this ride that's here that i've already called you know to to take me to the destination that i want to go to or do i go back to the old which would just be you going back in the house and just sitting there and not leaving whatever environment that you don't want to be in it's like the means and the resources and the assistance is there for you but you're stuck between well now that this car has arrived do i actually want to get into it you're holding yourself back okay i hope that makes sense what i'm trying to say 
you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like you've essentially put it out there. You've requested for this help. The help is here. It's not gonna. Be, it's not gonna sit there and wait for you. But you, you seem to be torn between like going back to what is familiar or not fully trusting taking this next step or this next the, the the next journey that lies ahead of you like not fully trusting that or not fully committing is what i'm getting it, it, it just really feels like an energy of not fully being all in and committing to it because once you commit to it that's what it's going to be and i understand that could be scary for you but you have to understand like you're putting mixed signals out to the universe and you have no one to blame in regards to why you're up in your head and you're so confused because you're putting confusing energy out like you have to understand that like if you want to be with this person be with the person that you're with but if you want to move forward then make that very clear and take the necessary parameters to move forward and i understand it's a whole lot easier said than done because i'm not in your your particular shoes i'm not in your particular situation i like i don't have all the ends and the inner workings with that or the the history and you know all these other things but I feel like you're taking too much into consideration that may not even need to be being taken into consideration because the universe is saying like they're here to ready and ready to help you to move on and, and it's even saying like let go of the old it's time to let go of the old you, you, like you have you have the universe here backing you saying like we're here to help you take you to that next relationship that you want or bring in the new love that you're asking for, but you 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 cannot straddle the fence in this situation. Is what I'm getting told. Like you can't. You, like you just cannot. And it may be difficult as well too, because this could be like some type of lesson that you need to learn because you are used to moving to new relationships and not fully cutting ties. Like some of y'all need to cut ties and cut cords with your exes. Period. You cannot be taking that baggage or taking relationships, unresolved things into the next relationship or still having relationships where you're still dealing with people in some type of form or fashion, financially, emotionally, sexually, taking that into new relationships, thinking that that is okay. That's not okay. That's not how you move. Like when you're ready to commit and you want a sincere adult grown up relationship, like you cannot be still working and having like certain types of affairs with other individuals like that does not work in a mature grown relationship it does not that's not a basis of how you even want to be starting another relationship and you still dealing with somebody else like that's not good karma that you're setting yourself up for okay so i feel like like you just really need to take this time to get really clear about what you really want like do you want to be single for those of you who are actually really legitimately single do you want to be single if you're single, then be okay with being single. You know what I'm saying? Stop, stop going on people's pages on social media sites and looking at people who are in relationships. Like, enjoy your singlehood if, if, if that's what you want. And that's, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to be in a relationship, then start aligning yourself and your life to those things. And, and stay in that energy and know that it's okay for you, you to be in a relationship. It's okay, to you to, it's okay for you to have love. Like, there's love out there for you too. And stop negating the, the, the very thing that you're asking for. And for those of you who are in relationships still, you need to get clear. Like, if you want to be with that person that you're with, then be with that person that you're with. That's okay. You're not missing out by, you know, seeing, having, you know, see, seeing other things out there. Because there's always going to be other things out there. There's always going to be other people out there that you're intrigued and you're interested in. But if you truly feel like this is not the person who you're meant to be with, your heart, your spirit, your soul is telling you like th this person is not your, the person that you want to be with or this is not the person that aligns with you where you are now and where you're about to move forward in your life, then you need to be honest with yourself. You need to be honest with yourself and do the necessary things that you need to do to move out of that relationship so that you can move and have a new, happy, healthy relationship and start things on a good term. Like, in the sense that you're setting good seeds for the beginning of your relationship where you're not carrying bull from one relationship to the next because I guarantee whoever you're trying to move towards the universe is not having that with with whoever this person is you that that may have worked between karmic relationships to karmic relationships while you were still in some type of karmic cycle needing to learn that lesson 
but whoever that you're trying to move towards no the universe is not having that with whoever this person is i'm just telling you that very clearly you're moving towards a relationship that's meant to be on a whole nother level then it's it's supposed to be very mature and in order for that to be that's how the intention is going to be set from the beginning so whoever this person you're moving towards this person is mature and they're they're not they're not going to accept that nor is the universe going to allow for you to come towards this person to even waste this person's time or put this person in some type of weird type of situation you know what i'm saying that they don't need to be involved in and for those of you who are living with an ex still then all i can tell you is if you've already taken the measures and you're just waiting for formalities you know before you can move on from that person that's that's you know that's what you need to be patient and wait for but i don't think it would it's helpful for you to still be having sex with someone that you've already made it clear that you're taking the mess the, the the measured steps to move on from that person because it's not setting the intention in whoever you're still having sex with like their head i don't see this person getting the sense that y'all are over so it's like you're taking the necessary steps you have maybe officially had some type of conversation that the two of you are not together but by you still having sex and playing house with this person or still keeping up some type of appearance this person in their head call them delusional or not they don't got the picture that this is over so whatever you're doing that's keeping this person still making them feel like they're very much with you and that you ain't going nowhere and i know you can't control other people but I'm saying, like, you can control yourself, so you don't need to be, if that's the case, continuing to keep those antics up that are making it seem like it's not really over. Okay? Um, I really feel like <laughs> that's where we're going to end because that is interesting. Um, I didn't expect those type of messages to come out, but I was quite trying to, like, figure out, like, why are you all needing another reading after we just had a nice reading that kind of gave a beautiful overview for 2022 and I see why you know because some of you are just really needing to get it clear within your own situation about like the direction that you're going and that's only something that you can do I don't really that's why you need to take time to yourself you don't really need to be taking the outside opinions of other people allowing sex to influence you allowing your mama to influence you allowing friends work associates what society wants for you like you you need to get clear and figure out what, what's going to make you happy because that's that, that's really all that matters at the beginning middle and end of the day like you cannot serve to make other people happy when it, the decisions that you're making is not ultimately what you want to do and i'm just going to end it on that note so if you all would like to book a personal ses a session with me you can go to my website www.divinelotustarot.com be blessed